Grand Emprise Time Travel Survival, a brand new survival game which is launching on the 27th of July 2023. We just received a brand new trailer which announced the launch date, and this is the trailer that's playing in the background. This game will see you travel through time to become a god. We'll be riding dinosaurs, forging tools, sailing dunes, building our very own colonies, sieging castles, automating complete processes to be able to fly, mine underground, build a spaceship, <coughs> and even travel to the moon. If that sounds good to you, subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and stick around for more Grand Emprise, because we're going to be checking it out in full. This game looks very, very interesting, and it's something quite unique. It's not something that I've seen before. It's very much a mix of lots of games blended into one. Some of the main aspects of the... Um, the sort of inspiration for the game have come from a games called It Takes Two and Spore, which I've never heard them, never played them. So if you have, then you potentially recognize some of the things that you see. Now, this is solo developed by a chap. Well, the developer and publisher is TBJBU2, and it is solo developed by one person. So there's a lot of assets in there. They have already said there's a lot of assets, but they're going to be working on potentially changing that up as the game progresses through uh, but it does look really interesting it looks so much fun and something a little bit different to the regular survival games that we're seeing where you're stuck in sort of one era but this one we start off from the very beginning and then potentially go all the way to the end of time where we could find alien ai and travel to different universes sounds pretty interesting right so as i've said we'll be starting off in the very first ages why riding dinosaurs taming dinosaurs and then working our way through the ages all the way up to the space age and even further so it looks pretty cool i'm very excited for this one now it's categorized as a survival crafting base building open world adventure now it is solo as well which is potentially one of the downsides and the game is rumored to last between 12 to 25 hours so pretty good average i don't know if it's actually launching into early access or not the planned release date is the 27th but it doesn't say anything about early access and whether there's going to be much more as the game progresses or whether it's just going to be released and then certain updates are going to come in but for those that are interested in in achievements and stuff like that it does have achievements which is always good a game with achievements is just fun i like something extra to aim for now, when it comes to the actual gameplay itself, the game will constantly be introducing completely new features to create exciting time travel adventure with a focus on high gameplay variety, where the time eras are intentionally quite short to keep the game constantly exciting, as I've said, similar to games like It Takes Two and Sport. Now, the game will also follow a mostly linear tech tree, and it does not have modular base building, so you cannot create custom buildings. So don't come into this expecting a fully sandbox experience with high heaven um, and absolutely insane customization, because that's not what you're going to get. <clears throat> what you are going to get, though, is elements of being able to construct and sail industrial ships and aircrafts and then travel all the way through to build mining colonies and mine underground and then eventually build rockets to launch to out of space. But before you do that, you'll become an actual caveman, which is really quite cool. So you'll be forging tools and primitive homes to fight primal animals as a caveman. And then you'll be sailing into desert dunes, facing giant primal worms and fighting humans across multiple different times. And then moving into the actual Stone Age, you'll be able to get a colony, explore caves, discover power through water wheels and take down hostile enemies and then get into sort of siege weaponry, building medieval castles and then actual taking down these medieval castles to form your own colonies and abolish others, which is really cool. And then all the way on the other end, we're going to be able to get futuristic technology and automate our processes that we'd be using on the moon and drilling into moon using our own rovers, fighting mechs on future Earth, and then finally building a Dyson Sphere to take off into space and taking control of a powerful alien artificial intelligence to go beyond this universe, which sounds really, really cool. And I'm quite excited for that. 
And then alongside that, some of the special features, we're going to be able to forge our own tools by manually forging iron to colonists and then finally going through water wheel power and then into electricity and then finally the Dyson Sphere. When it comes to base building, we'll be able to form primitive buildings as a tribal colony all the way up to electrical era and massive factories, warehouses and then into futuristic gravity automation. And then when it comes to combat, the simple stuff, you know, we start off throwing stones like primitive cavemen that we are. Throwing stones at animals and taming animals, as we've seen in the trailer there, we'll be able to tame some dinosaurs, ride those around, and then go all the way up through to swords, guns, explosives, and then even be able to use tanks and mechs when we get to the right time era. And then as we'll be able to go through all of these time eras, we're going to be able to have a way to traverse them through simple things like dinosaurs at the start and then into boats, paragliders, siege weaponry, hot air balloons, industrial ships, aircrafts, and then finally spaceships. And as we progress through these different time eras, we're going to be seeing different technologies. So we're going to have to grab different type of resources to create these new technologies, which is really interesting. And I like the way that they've done this. How long these, these sort of time periods are going to last and whether it's going to be a full-on quest line to see us through these different time zones is yet to be seen, whether we're going to be building some sort of time machine or whether it's just going to progress as we sort of move through the storyline yet to be seen. <clears throat> but it does sound absolutely awesome. Very excited for this one. If you are too, you know what to do. Drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and stick around for more of it. Let me know what you think down in the comments below about Grand Emprise Time Travel Survival. I think it's it could be a quick gimmick, you know. Um, it is, as it looks so far, a lot of assets that are put into it, but... It is what it is, you know, assets. I don't mind asset games. Some of them can be really quite fun. Others can be very shoddy, slapped together within five minutes. Hopefully this is not the case with Grand Emprise. And even, like I say, even if it is assets, it's a fun blend of them. There's, there's no reason to not use them. The whole reason assets are there are to be used. But some games are complete asset flips, uh, which does just take the piss a little bit. And the gameplay is shoddy. Everything that you can see, you can get on the asset store. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully it's good. Either way, let me know what you think down in the comments below. For now, though, we're going to wrap that one up. I've been Wired. You've been awesome. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you very soon with some more Grand Emprise Time Travel Survival.